Hey guys, as a tester, do you know what is the principle of software testing? Well, software testing principle provide a set of guidelines that help tester to develop effective testing strategy and approaches to ensure that software meets the required quality standards. This principle are based on years of experience and best practices in the software industry so in this video we're going to learn seven principles of software testing welcome to code and box automation lab this is shoreful let's go so first principle testing shows the presence of defect what does it mean it's the first principle of software testing is that testing is a process to identify defect or errors in the software. Testing helps to identify issues in the software and helps to determine the quality of the software. Next, the second principle is exhaustive testing is impossible. We all know about it. So it is not possible to test all possible combination and permutation of input data for any complex software system. It is important to prioritize and select a subset of test cases that are critical to the system's functionality and performance. Let's see next. Number three, early testing or shift left. So the testing should be conducted as early as possible in the software development life cycle. Early testing helps to identify defect and, and issues early in the development process, which can save time and cost of fixing defect later in the cycle. Next, defect clustering. So defect clustering principle state that a small number of modules or areas in the software system are responsible for the majority of defect. This is the principle known as 80% of the issues comes from 20% of the features. So it is important to focus testing on those critical areas. Next, number five, pesticide paradox. The pesticide paradox principle states that no new defect will discover if you run the same test cases again and again after a certain period. It's talking about the regression testing. So you need to keep reviewing and updating your test suites to ensure that they are effective in detecting the new defect. Let's see the next. Number six, testing is context dependent. Testing is context dependent and should be developed according to the software requirements, complexity and dependency. The testing strategy and approach should be tailored to the meet, a, meet the specific needs of the software system. Because every software it has its unique character, behavior, objective. Like e-commerce website is way different than like uh, than inventory management system. So based on your requirement, your application and complexity, you know your testing scenarios, your testing process should be you know uh, totally different. Okay. So next one, absence of error fallacy. So absence of error philosophy principle is state that the testing can never prove the absence of the defect in the software system. Other than testing only helps to identify defect and errors in the system. Therefore, it is important to continue testing the system throughout its life cycle to ensure that it meets the required quality standard. And there is a myth about the software testing principles. The principles are just for reference. No need to use them in pra practice. This is not true. 
the testing principle will help you to create an effective test strategy thank you for watching that's all for today